Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche Design. Here are the nine things you need to know about the Unsharp Mask in Photoshop. Number one, Unsharp Mask gets its name from a traditional photography technique, which involves taking a blurred or unsharpened copy of the original image and applying it as a mask during the printing process, which would cancel out specific low frequencies resulting in a sharper image. And of course, we don't need to worry about the technical details because Photoshop takes care of it digitally behind the scenes. Number two, the amount slider controls the intensity of the contrast along the adjacent pixels with differing tonal values. On a tonal scale of zero to 255, zero will be black, and 255 will be white. Let's look at these values with an example. Notice the RGB values when I use this color picker on a white to black gradient. See, when I clicked on white, the value was 255, and as I move towards black, the values keep going down towards zero, which represents all black. So now let's go back to the amount slider. Increasing the amount slider will make the dark midtones darker and the light midtones lighter. With 128 being the center of the tonal scale, dark midtones will be less than 128 and the light midtones will be greater than 128. Let's look at an example. I'm going to apply the unsharp mask filter to this image. For now, let's bring the threshold down all the way to zero and I'm going to increase the amount slider and notice the increase in intensity of the contrast along the edges. Number three, radius slider controls how wide of an edge will be created. For example, a radius of one pixel will create an edge of one pixel on the light side and one pixel on the dark side of the edge. Let's go back to our example. I'm going to crank up the radius pixel from 1 to around 16.5. Notice how the edge thickens both on the light side and the dark side in the gradient image and the image with the model. Number four, unlike smart sharpen or high pass, unsharp mask does not detect edges. In other words, all pixels are equally sharpened. Watch when I increase the amount slider all the way up to 500. You can see all the pixels in my model image are affected. Which brings us to number five. You can avoid sharpening the entire image using the threshold slider. Now threshold slider controls the level at which the contrast starts to have an effect. For example, if you apply a value of four, to the threshold, only pixels at least four brightness levels lighter or darker than the adjacent pixels will be affected. Watch when I apply a threshold value of 80 levels, the center of the two gradients are no longer sharpened. Why? Because the difference between the tonal values in the center of the gradient no longer breaches our threshold level that we set. Number six, sharpening halos are produced when too much contrast is applied. If I go back to my example and increase the amount all the way up to 500%, you can see the halos being produced around the edges. Number seven, sharpening is not the same as adjusting the focus. Generally speaking, when you use tools like unsharp mask, you're trying to make the in-focus areas sharper. For example, in this image, the leaf is in focus, so you should avoid sharpening the blurred background and just restrict the sharpening to the in-focus leaf. Number eight, for best results, start with increasing the amount slider to 500%, then reduce the radius slider until the sharpening halos disappear, and only then play with the threshold slider to limit sharpening to just the areas that need it. Let's look at an example. In this image, I'm going to start by increasing the amount slider 
all the way up to 500%. Next, I'm going to decrease my radius slider until the sharpening halos start to disappear. Now I can go back to my amount slider and adjust it until I get the desired intensity of the contrast. When I turn the preview on and off, I can see a little bit of the blurred background being affected by the sharpness. So I'm going to add a threshold of eight levels, which will prevent that from happening. Last but not the least, number nine. Unsharp mask affects the color of the pixels as well, in addition to the brightness. This means that our colors may look oversaturated after we apply the sharpening effect. To avoid the color shifting from happening, we're going to change the blend mode to luminosity. Let's go back to the leaf image. I'm going to crank up the amount all the way up to 500 and you'll notice a shift in the colors. To avoid this from happening, double click on the blending options icon on the right side of the unsharp mask layer and select luminosity from the mode dropdown. And there you have it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.